Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day one for our Palo Alto Panorama series. In this video, I'll be covering about the introduction of Palo Alto Panorama. And in this video, I'll be covering what is Panorama, what are the deployment methods, what are the modes that we can configure Panorama as, what is Panorama in cloud, and adding Palo Alto Firewall into Panorama. Okay, so this will be really helpful and in most of the companies like if they have more than four or five Palo Alto firewalls, they'll opt for Panorama Manager. Okay, I'll explain you what exactly it is and it will be very helpful for your interview as well. So I'll request you to please watch this video till the end and also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So friends, before I start the video, uh, I just wanted to mention a few things. So in the series of Panorama, uh, I will be dividing the videos into three sections. The first will be an introduction of any kind of topic. Okay. Then in the second section, I'll be uh, explaining about the concepts. Okay. And the third section will be practical. So some some of the videos will not be having practical because it deals only with uh, your concepts. Uh, the, the only thing is uh, you need to understand the concept, the early videos, not all the videos. OK, so if you have any kind of suggestions, uh, feel free to do that in comment box. And if you want to learn how how I create my labs and uh, if you want to understand a topic, uh, about a whatever video that I've created in my YouTube channel. If you want to understand the, the concept or how I created those labs, you can just uh, click on join button and you can join as network warrior and then we can have a session and then I can explain you about the uh, topic and, and we can proceed further. Okay. So without any further delay, let's get start the video now. So friends, first of all, we'll try and understand what is Panorama. The meaning of Panorama word is like you are seeing something in a wider angle, right? So let's say you are at the top of the mountain. Okay. And from there, you will be seeing all the places. You will have a wider angle to see the places from the top of the mountain, right? Same way. When you log into Polo Panorama, you will be able to see all the firewall which are connected to Panorama management. So this is what exactly the Panorama is. It's a management server where you can store your policy. Okay. You can store, you can upgrade the devices. You can update the devices like app. Uh, application control updates, uh, URL filtering updates, antivirus updates, so all those updates. So from this panorama box, you will be able to manage the devices, right? There are a lot more things panorama does, which I'll be covering in upcoming videos. For now, you just understand that from panorama, we will be able to manage the firewalls. At uh, sitting at one place, you'll be able to manage all the firewalls. Okay. So friends, now we'll understand what is deployment methods are there. Okay. So there are two methods. One is basic and one is distributed. Okay. In basic, as you can see, you will be directly connected to the firewall and this panorama will store policies. Okay. All those uh, policies and upgrades and updates and all those things are there and also it also collects the logs which gets generated in the firewall. But in distributed deployment, what happens is there will be a another dedicated device which actually takes all the logs. Okay. And there will be a dedicated uh, device which is only for uh, keeping the policies update and upgrades on all those things. Okay. So in this Basically, if you have like medium type of uh, businesses in that case, you will deploy in basic uh, deployment. But if you have like large 
kind of network in that case you will be deploying in the distributed deployment okay so for general understanding you just understand that a panorama and uh, like what log collector does how it sends it i'll be covering in the upcoming videos just try to understand the firewall logs will get stored to log collector in distributed deployment but in case of uh, basic deployment your policy and the logs will get stored in panorama okay so now friends we'll understand the modes of panorama okay so there are three modes one is panorama mode one is log collector and the third is management only so in panorama mode both log collector as well as management both the modes will be working so you will be able to store the policies as well as you will receive the logs but in log collector you will only be collecting the logs okay and in management you will be able to store the policies like you can implement the those those policies i'll come to the details of it in upcoming videos okay so now we'll understand what is panorama in cloud so basically let's suppose you have a azure platform or maybe aws platform okay aws and azure okay and you have something uh let's say physical appliance of panorama on prem like in your data center okay so from this you will be able to manage the firewall which you have deployed in azure or uh, aws okay so aws they will be a vm uh, firewalls right so you will be able to manage the vm firewalls with the help of physical uh panoramas even you can manage the uh dc firewalls as well so what does it mean here is uh, no matter where your panorama is located you will be able to manage all your firewalls the only thing is you should have a proper connectivity from panorama to palo alto firewalls okay so friends now we'll go to the lab and try to add the palo alto firewall into panorama okay so let's get into the lab let's let wrap this up and we'll go directly to lab okay so this is our uh, panorama lab i have not set it up i just connected the panorama and palo alto firewall so in this lab i'll be adding only one uh, palo alto firewall i'll be adding other uh, palo alto firewall but later part okay in the upcoming videos but before adding uh, the palo alto firewall there are a lot more things that we need to learn but as of for this video i'm just adding it okay so once you log in okay uh you will be seeing this one and if you don't have license uh, you will be seeing only three or four options that's all now, as i've already installed the license over here uh the thing is like uh, you have to go to panorama okay and you have to go to summary manage device summary and then you have to add it and you have to paste the serial number okay so where you will get the serial number you have to log into the palo alto firewall you need to copy the serial number okay and you have to go to panorama and you have to add this serial number okay and generate the auth key copy this auth key copy it okay okay and then you go to palo alto firewall go to device okay and you have to do the settings for okay it is not asking us so we'll just put the ip address and we'll see whether it is connecting or not so yeah this is the ip address 202.150 okay and we'll do a commit and we'll see whether we are getting any any kind of traffic or not we'll just see that okay we'll just refresh it okay it is showing as disconnected okay we'll try to do something commit and push we we don't have any dev device or any anything so we'll just try to do this commit okay
okay we can see some traffic on 443 so ssl traffic that we are seeing over here okay and this is completed okay now i can see over here some ip address okay and yeah so what i did is i have changed this ip address to the static ip address i'll just refresh it and i'll see this is still disconnected and yeah here performing the panorama connectivity check okay so tcp failed reverting the configuration okay configuration revert successfully and it is showing as connected i'm not sure why it is showing as dscp i have changed it to a static one okay we'll see how it goes and then we can proceed further so friends uh, there are a lot more things which we need to do before adding the device into panorama i just showed you how what is the first step that you can do to add a firewall into panorama there are a lot more things that i'll be covering in the coming upcoming videos so stay tuned yeah friends uh, this is what i wanted to uh, cover in this video uh, in upcoming videos i'll be uh, telling you about the details of all other topic related to panorama so i'll request you to please watch all the videos give suggestions so that I can improve something in my video and for this video I'll try to ask you if you have liked it please give it a like if you want to do some comment please do that and also I'll request you to please subscribe it as well and if you have any kind of suggestion please drop me an email or DM me on Facebook or Instagram whatever you feel like okay and also I'll request you to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next.